What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is Earthmaster here, checking in on this 27th of May, 2021, about 8.03 p.m. West Coast time here in California. 4.4, a latest quake on the globe up here around the Japan area. Kind of watching this area for some uh, further movement. We've seen a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity today. Uh, not only that 4.4, but a little bit further inland, a 4.2. Uh, and also a pretty deep 4.1 up here just uh, to the north there into the subduction zone. 421 kilometers below surface. That's some pretty significant deep movement there. Uh, take a look at the USGS map here on the all magnitudes. Uh, actually, that's the trimmer map. We'll go ahead and start with that real quick. 27th, not a whole lot to the north. We're looking at a little increase in trimmer in the south once again southern oregon northern california 213 epicenters of trimmer along the southern edge of the cascadia subduction zone uh, far as earthquake activity goes there's the uh, quakes over there around japan inland that deep earthquake right there into the uh way deep down there 421 kilometers and um yeah it's pretty crazy uh, a little bit of further movement over here around china uh, looks like a 5.2. That's probably an aftershock from uh, the large quakes I had over there a few days ago. Looks about the same region. Uh, Middle East over there, a little earthquake around Pakistan. And uh, a little swarm of uh, activity here in the Taiwan area. Only one, 4.7. Not for sure why my earthquake 3D globe still shows many. I'll have to check the date range on that. Uh, a little bit of quake activity south here, south of Samoa, Fiji Islands area, and Tonga. You can see uh, quite a few fours. Some further deep movement. Once again, folks, this stuff just always blows me away with the deep movement they see down there. 609 kilometers for that 4.3. Right smack dab in this area. I mean, there's just this is where all the deep movement is just very, very common. Uh, let's see what we've got. Hawaii kind of kicking up a little bit. You can see zooming in here, some uh, movement offshore, kind of close to the uh, underwater Lohi Seamount volcano. 2.8, uh, pretty deep here as well, 17 kilometers, and some further movement scattered about, all kind of leading up towards the Mauna Loa area. Going to have to watch this pretty closely. 2.9, pretty shallow there. Uh, let's see what we got up here. A couple. Um, other shallow earthquakes towards the Mauna Loa area. And um, of course this little cluster of quakes on the uh, southeast flank right here looking like uh, like you would normally see on any given day there. Uh, what do we got? Northern California. Check out this, well, check out all of California folks. I mean, look at this line of activity, okay? You don't even, I don't think I need to draw a line here, but starts up here, southern end of the Cascadia, northern end of the San Andreas Fault System, all the way down, right, folks, inland. Pretty much most of it's inland to the east of the San Andreas Fault. A couple small quakes on the creeping section, but uh, as we look down here, east of there, we're still seeing continued earthquake activity on the uh, eastern side of the coast ranges, eastern side of the San Andreas Fault. It's pretty noticeable on this map here, so um, keep a close eye on this. This is over the last 24 hours, um, which is pretty active. California in general along the west coast here, pretty active. Uh, Bakersfield had a little earthquake down there. Quite a few people actually felt it. Uh, near Rosedale, 3.1, uh, 24 kilometers, <clears throat> kind of deep some deep movement there as well I had to get a drink before I end up choking um, let's see down here in the south part of the state as well little cluster of quakes outside of uh, uh, what is that try to think what fault systems are down there I don't even see I really wish this map had the more faults and uh, what they show, but uh, I can't remember the name of this area down here, but nothing big, just a couple microquakes in this region, a handful or so. About the only thing that's kind of popping out at the moment. 
uh, Los Angeles had a little little quake, 2.6 near Anaheim. Uh, but overall, folks, I mean, it's just looking uh, looking like a lot of pressure built up over here on the North American side of the plate. So I have to keep an eye on this region. We're seeing inland quakes as well, kind of pick up here around the um, Portola area once again. We'll be kind of watching that. Whenever we get this little line of activity along the coast ranges, we see that uptick in activity up here as well. And that's kind of a sign of, uh, well, some generating some pressure here. Um, uh, not only along the coast range, but inland as well, up towards the Sierra Nevadas. Uh, ultimately, this should add, you would think it would add a lot more pressure here along the San Andreas Fault, which I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but maybe uh, maybe just not enough to produce any uh, significant movement on that plate boundary. Uh, but we are seeing some more movement into the uh, Utah area up through Salt Lake City, into parts of the Intermountain West region as well, into Idaho, and some further movement up here around the Seattle area. Most of that most of that is uh, microquake activity. Nothing big to report in that region of the world. South America, uh, a couple fours down there. Just north of Santiago, Chile region. Not super deep, but uh, somewhat. 61 and 43 kilometers there along the subduction zone, the Peru Chile Trench region. Uh, what else we got, folks? Yellowstone National Park, we'll check that out real quick. Not a whole lot going on there. Um, uh, in fact, uh, well, nothing <laughs> zero hello yellowstone just nothing uh solar weather not too active folks in fact everything calming down over the next couple days here so um just yeah what a fluke what a fluke of uh you know we just seen that k k5 uh but it was just a little quick a uh, little quick area of uh Increased wind and density, and that was it. Things are calming back down. You can see the KP indexes here, all the way down back to one. Sunspot activity. Take a look at the uh, most recent uh, imagery of the sun. You can see some solar flares off here. Look like they're getting fairly active, going away from the Earth. Uh, we got this little one facing us, and potentially a coronal hole. Uh, heading over uh, towards our region in the next couple days. Not a significant one, but uh, it's one nonetheless. Far as uh, uh, potential flaring, right now looks like just a 50% chance of a C flare. And I'm I'm betting you 100% it's from this little guy right here. But that's uh. Uh, it's kind of facing us directly. Nothing big, folks. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. Anyway, all right, folks, we're going to call it night. I uh, hope everyone has a beautiful evening out there. Things are going to start cooking here in California. and It's literally going to start cooking underneath an excessive heat watch beginning Sunday. It's not good. I will be melting. No, I won't because I'll be inside in my air conditioner. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any power outages. That would be horrible. Anyway, guys, have a good night. Uh, you know, stay safe out there. Be on guard out there, West Coast region. Just uh, with all that uh, further movement there along the coast ranges. And uh, well, let's set this back to 24 hours. I'm not for, there we go. That's about 24 hours, isn't it? Somewhere around there. Take care, guys. Have a good night.